And breaking now, a suspect in critical condition after being tased by Everett police. The suspect was being investigated for possessing illegal guns, and he was confronted by detectives on the corner of Broadway Avenue and 33rd Street tonight. Kara Sevens Jessica O is live now in Everett, and Jessica, police say they found two guns on this man. Monique, and that's what sparked this entire incident. I want to show you how extensive this scene is. There are cars lining all the way on Broadway Avenue, and that's because we're told the suspect ran down the street, so officers at this point are still trying to preserve the scene. And I just uh, chase. Lucas Oliver didn't know what to think when he first saw officers chasing that man down the street on Broadway and 33rd. But then he saw what happened to the guy. Lucas's niece, Eden Tam, got the entire incident on camera. What the f? Her shock is evident. I don't know what the guy was doing, what he did to deserve getting tased or anything. Uh, police had reason to believe that he actually had some firearms on his person. Detectives say the suspect was being investigated for illegally possessing firearms in Lake Stevens. When officers learned he could have weapons on him here in Everett, they tried to confront him and he ran. One of the Everett police officers, I believe a sergeant, deployed his taser twice. You can see officers chasing the suspect across the street. Detectives say he collapsed and they found two guns on him. Oh, well, that's scary. That is scary. The suspect is in critical condition, and KK Ojo wants to know if the stun gun is what put him in the hospital. It's definitely strange. And as you can see, 33rd is still closed at this point. It sounds like investigators with Snohomish County's multiple agency response team will be out here for a while. We're told, by the way, that detectives actually served a warrant on that suspect's home in Lake Stevens for those uh, firearms while this was all unfolding here in Everett. Reporting live in Everett tonight, I'm Jessica O, Cairo 7 News.